Welcome. My name is Evan Sellers, and thank you for viewing the screencast lesson concerning the five themes of geography. This lesson is designed for geography students in grades 7 through 9. The five themes of geography are a good starting point in the effort to make sense of the world and its people. The five themes allow for a basic framework of concepts to be generalized in order to make connections and generalizations about geographic phenomena. The objectives of this lesson are for the student to be able to identify and explain the five themes of geography and apply those themes to new situations. An easy mnemonic to help remember the five themes of geography is lucky people have more Reese's. The five themes are location, place, human environment interaction, movement, and region. The first of the five themes we'll introduce is the theme of location. Location is literally where something is found on the earth. There are two types of location, absolute and relative. Absolute location is an exact point on the earth and is often measured by using lines of latitude and longitude. However, a typical street address can be an example of an absolute location as well. On the other hand, relative location is the description of a location in relation to something else. If you said your house was north of the PD River, then you are using relative location. Place is a description of location on the earth. The descriptions can be of physical attributes like mountains and trees and climates, for example, or the descriptions can be of human characteristics like culture, buildings, or other items of human design. Human environment interaction is how people interact with their environment. There are three general ways people interact with their environment. People modify their environment, adapt to their environment, and depend on their environment. Humans modify their environment in such ways as mountaintop removal, building dams, and building roads. Humans also adapt to environmental conditions by utilizing clothing, air conditioning, and other technologies. In addition, humans depend on their environment for food, water, and shelter. Movement is a major theme in the study of geography and refers to goods, people, and ideas. Movement concerns the transfer of goods using various means including ships, trains, planes, and trucks. And people can also move using planes, trains, buses, and other methods. Ideas can move through the use of telecommunications, word of mouth, letters, and the internet. A region is an area that shares similar characteristics. There are three general types of regions, formal, functional, and vernacular. Formal regions are made up of defined boundaries that are not up for dispute. Formal regions can be political entities, landform regions, economic regions, or other types of common human property. Functional regions are regions that share a particular function like an airline service area or a paper route. Vernacular regions are based on human feelings attitudes, or perceptions about an area. The southern United States is often referred to as the South due to the cultural identity shared, and this is an example of a vernacular region. Now let's review the five themes of geography once more. Location, place, human environment interaction, movement, and region. And remember, the mnemonic that can help re you remember the five themes is lucky people have more Reese's. Thank you for your attention. This is the end of the screencast.